Yeah, from my side, as a, as a Springbok team, we don't appoint officials. You know, I think that's a job for World Rugby. So I wouldn't really go deep into that and say we are happy or unhappy with the with with the officials. You know, because of it's not in our hands. You know, but once again, those guys, I know one thing for sure: they're all professional and they all respect that job. You know, and uh, so once again, to us, it doesn't affect us. The main thing is to focus on how we want to play the game. So if they've got a problem with that, unfortunately, they can go and have a chat with the World Rugby regarding that, you know. So and uh, on the other side, the second question about what was the second question? Scrum, the same piece dominance. Like oh, they have said they've dented our ego. I think from my side, I'm not going to go deep on that one. We were happy as a Springbok team. Once again, if you look at the most important stat in the game, which is the final score, you know, we were we won the game, so I'm not too sure what this is that they've dented against us. And uh, I'm not going to fall in that trap where I play the minds game. I'm not a minds game person, so the game is going to be played between the four lines. So if Gatling is talking about the Eagles, he doesn't really know much about us as South Africans. And I'm not going to go deep on that. So let's wait and see tomorrow after the game, you know, and uh, hopefully we can give people a, a good show of rugby. We know they're going to be tough. We know they're going to be physical, you know, so once again, uh, when it comes to the eagle, we'll see the eagles between the four lines. Yeah, Ashwaka, going back to your question about how we played against them in the World Cup and what we expect from them, once again, this is not a secret. The way we played against them in the semi final, it was designed for that game, you know, because we knew what they're going to bring to us. We knew all the challenges, you know. And uh, people, they forget that before that game, the last time we beat uh, Wales before the semi-final. I think it was about three years, if not if not four years, you know. So, and then when we did our analysis to look back of whatever the things that we were doing that we needed to work on, you know. So once again, so everyone is talking about the kicking game in that game. So that was something that we mainly focused on, knowing that, you know, without giving too much, we, we wanted to make sure that we, we're going to stay in that fight, you know because they are good at what they've planned. They're good at executing their plan. So it was our our plan also to counter whatever they're going to bring on the table in that in that game. And yes, one thing for sure that uh, you'll expect a lot of kicking game in this game also. Uh, if you look at the influence of the guys that are in that team, uh, a guy like Stuart Hawke, who's really, really got a good boot, you know, uh, uh, Bega who's also very good. And even the guys that will come off the bench, Konomari and uh, and Farrell, you know, so those guys, they're going to they gonna challenge us. But once again, I all, I've been saying this throughout the whole week, is that when it comes to playing against the British and Irish Lions, we're going to have to be at our best in all the departments. We know they've got a good kicking game. And also on a day when you give them space out wide with, the, with their outside backs, they'll be dangerous. And also, we can't ne neglect the physical impact that a guy like Duan will bring in that back line, you know. I think they've selected a strong side physically, but also with pace. So uh, we'll, we've got good plans also in place. And yeah, like Sia mentioned earlier on, I think the team that's going to execute their plan very well, mm -hmm. uh, I think, uh, and be desperate for 80 minutes, I think that's the team that's going to win tomorrow. And hopefully that will be us.